Hello, this is Robert Manikian, continuing installation of Oracle 10G Rack on uh, CentOS 4 using VMware. In last session, um, we ran the cluster verification and realized some of the RPMs were installed on the uh, second node. So, since then, I found the second node and installed them exactly the same procedure as the first one. So, let's um, run the cluster verification time um, to make sure that we don't have any other issues we should be okay so double checking is not going to do any any harm minus four as well Looks pretty good so far. Ah, pre check with cluster services. Unsuccessful, that's not very good. Let's see. All the RPMs so far are okay. If you don't have any issues with the libraries, can't imagine. Ah, could not find the interface. I believe this is a bug and we can safely ignore it if that's the only thing. By the looks of it, that's the only issue we have. Everything else looks good. Um, I say let's get on with the installation and if there's an issue, I don't believe there's going to be an issue, if so we'll fix it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is a good place. Before you start running installer, do a backup here just in case you run into any sort of trouble um, while you're doing the Oracle installer, cluster install. So at least you can get back to it and rectify your errors. Otherwise, you have to go through the whole thing again. But um, here we go. Um, what I will do, I will follow the screenshots in here as well. So we have clicked on that, and that looks okay. So the next one is this screen that we see in here. Uh, he's putting on, instead of being under app, changing the database to CRS to start with. And this is a CRS too. So we've got to be on year one CRS, Oracle product, etc. Um, it will go through the similar process as cluster verification, everything completely okay, and we got to pass. You could have errors in here, so fix it before you go. Um, we need to add our second node to local domain. It's easier to check for spell um, typos 
Cool to me. That looks pretty good. Let's go to the next. Ah. Um, let's go through. Oh, actually, we didn't see this error, so there are some errors that will appear on a different system. So be ready if you are not having exactly the same uh, version. You will have that. So we added that part and we next it. In here, we need to change our uh, networking interface. This is a public one, not a private one. So make it into a public. Click on next. Our external, it's going to be external redundancy. And if Make sure that we are following. So that's a row one. Next one is going to be row two. Um, so voting. That last one was OCR. This is the voting disk. Um, Got our OCRs and what's in this, and we go through the install. This shouldn't take that long uh, for it to come back. And once that's done, we need to go and run um, scripts as a root. Um, I will stop the recording here and once it's finished I'll come back um, and do the rest of the CRS there otherwise I'm going to run out of time Okay, so this is Robert Mulliken installing Oracle Rack 10G release 2 on CentOS 4 using VMware. Uh, see you on next session.